Hey guys, it's me, Stella. Today's video is going to be a study with me with a bit of a twist. In this video, I'll be showing you my productive study routine when I'm preparing for my college exams or any exam in general. And you can use these methods when studying for an AP exam or a chapter test in your high school class. But my techniques have been slightly modified because college exams typically cover more content than high school classes and tests and are based on both lectures and the textbook. I hope you guys like this video and yeah, let's get into it. So throughout this video, I'm preparing for my first psych exam for my college class that covered four chapters or seven lectures. I started preparing a few days in advance since it wasn't too many chapters and I already knew some of the basics from AP Psychology. On the first evening I started preparing for the exam, I first chose which notebook I wanted to use. I hadn't yet made a notebook for my college classes this semester since most of my note taking was on my computer. I then chose which writing utensils I would be using, and I chose to use a blue mild liner for my headers, purple pilot juice pen for important information, blue tri plus ball pen for my subsections, yellow highlighter for vocab, and a black pen for the main notes. I then partitioned the notebook into three parts using page dividers or flags and decided that the second section would be for my psych class. Before I start taking notes, I usually listen to a few EDM songs or songs that I know will pump me up just so that I get more motivated and energized. Here I'm just showing you the textbook I'm taking notes from for my psych exam. Here's how I typically start my notes. At the top it says textbook notes, so just so that I know if I'm ever reviewing again later in the semester. And I also wrote my header with my mild liner for the chapter name with a chapter name and use the blue pen for subsections. So here I'm just taking notes and I typically only write the most important things I know might be on the test based on what my professor said. I decided to take notes on the first two textbook chapters and then the lectures for all of the chapters just because I wanted to make sure that I maximized my grade on this exam. So here I'm just taking notes from the first two chapters of the textbook and then later I was planning to transfer to taking notes from the lectures. Even though throughout the semester I've been taking notes on the lectures from my classes in my computer, I like to write things down just because it's the most efficient way for me to remember things and I typically find that after I've written something down and skim over it once, I pretty much remember everything that I went over. This method might seem very time consuming, but it's honestly the most efficient one for me. I don't really spend too much time taking notes because I'm already pretty fast at writing and I just find that I don't have to review very many times to remember things.
So this is already the following day after school and I usually put in these earplugs into my ears just because my brother and my household is so loud that otherwise I wouldn't be able to concentrate. So here I'm just continuing to take notes from my textbook and usually if I'm taking a big exam I do this for several days but this took me only around two days total. After I finished taking notes from my textbook, I used a page flag to mark where my chapter 1 and 2 textbook notes were and used another to mark the lecture notes. I also printed out some diagrams my professor mentioned would be on the exam and put them in my notebook so they would be easily accessible. And then I basically continued doing the same thing for the rest of the day and following day and took notes from the lectures. Something I also recommend doing while preparing for exams is to use your free time as much as possible, such as here when I had a break between my college classes. Or in third period at school when I have free time, I was taking my notes from my textbook and my lectures. I hope you guys enjoyed this study routine slash study with me and my personal process for preparing for exams. 
And this may not work for everyone, but it personally has helped me a lot when preparing for exams and helps me maximize my time and be as productive as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!